Hello friends. So today we can discuss this question from Neat Code. Problem number 633. Sum of square numbers. The problem statement states that you are given a non-negative integer c, and your task is to decide that whether two integers a and b are exist for the value c such that a square plus b square is equal to c square. Example, as you can see, five. So the input is given only c, which is actually like in this example, five is given, and there exist a pair such that a equal to one and b equal to two, such that a square plus b square is equal to five. So you have to just print out whether these two should be a non-negative integers. That that these these should also be non-negative integers a and b, and whether these exist or not. Okay. So Let move to the sketch pad. This is the equation. If I move this this part to here, this equation becomes like this. So what our main motive is, what we iterate for this, we we are given c value, the value of c, and we iterate over the value of a. If we subtract some value from c, then we got b square. If we follow this equation, so now if we got b square, the value of b should be a perfect square, and the value of this for subtracting is in the range of this because actually this is also an under square thing. Okay, so as you can see, this should be greater than equal to zero. This term, this whole term. So as you can see, c is greater than equal to a square, and a is less than equal to and root of c, and a is at minimum equal to zero. Because it is a like non it is a positive integer, so the the range for a is from zero to under root c. Okay, so from this range we have to move, but to move from under root c in for loop we can actually use the value of i. Like for the value of a, if you like take the value of a in the for loop. Then the, there's a better approach to use a is a into a. Less than equal to c. Which is the same equation like here. But the thing is, we don't have to use. Any operator to find the under root of c. So let's move on to this code. As you can see in this code, what we have done is we have moved from zero to i to i less than equal to c. This is i is just just actually representing a, and its range is from zero to under root c. So, but not finding under root c. What we can do is we write i into i is less than equal to c. Then we just find the 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 square root of c minus a square. As you can see, c minus a square is equal to b. So then we store it in double form. But if it is a square root, because we are now finding a a square root of this, uh, this x will be some integer. Okay. If like for example, take twenty six. If If we do a square root of twenty six, then it will be in some points. So if we turn it into some integer, it is not equal to this twenty six point five twenty six divided when give it some under root is not equal to the integer form of that number. But if we do a square root of twenty five, it is equal to five, and double value of it is also equal to five. So those two value will be equal, and then it return true. Or else in this range, if doesn't if That case never happens. Then, when we come out of this loop, we have to return false. I hope you understand this logic. If you have any doubts, please mention it in the comment box. I'll try to rectify it as soon as possible.
Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.